Now that you've finished your track, it's time to export it out of Soundation, clean things up a little bit, review the track, and finally compress it down to an MP3 file, which you can then share with the world if that's what you want to do, or have it in your own personal library. Soundation gives you some options for publishing your track through their actual site onto your profile. But personally, I prefer taking it out and cleaning things up because you're leaving a lot to chance by just publishing without having a chance to review and listen to the track. One nuance about Soundation that you need to be aware of is that if you have a reverb tail or automation extending beyond the final clip or the final event in the track, it will cut it off. So what I like to do is go in here, add an instrument track, and it could be whatever you want. I just like to use the noiser here just to be 100% safe. And I go to a part way past where I think it's gonna end, and I'll go in here and let me just turn the volume down on this. I'll just add in a random note here to guarantee that it will go all the way to the end and I won't lose any reverbs or delays that have happened. So make sure you do that on your track if you have reverbs or delays, or even just to give yourself a little bit of silence at the end. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here. I'm going to export this as a WAV file. It's now going to process and we'll come back once that's finished. Now that it's finished, we'll get a dialog box like this. I'll go ahead and click save. It's gonna save to my desktop and I'll just call it something like Muzak. We click save and now we should be able to find it on the desktop. I started a new project inside of Audacity and I've loaded in a sample track for you here. And this is what a lot of your tracks may look like coming out of Soundation if you haven't been careful with your levels. So if you see something like this, go back inside of Soundation, pull all of your levels down to zero, and try to remix the track so that you actually see some headroom. And by headroom, I literally mean there's a little bit of gray space between the blue and the top. So I'm gonna load in my track now, and we're gonna see a noticeable difference. Inside of Soundation, they make it very easy for you to work at extreme levels. But when you're just starting out, I would encourage you not to do that because it's kind of like being lazy and that if everything does sound really loud, it will sound pretty good to you. However, as you get more advanced, you'll realize that you can't have your pre-mix that cranked. There are no real mixing or mastering applications inside of Soundation, which is why they have you work at such a loud level, but I want you to be prepared for the next steps. So if you have something that looks a little bit more like this, even something that's a lot closer to the top would be fine, but you just don't want to see your waveform being squared off like it is here, at least not until you understand exactly why that's happening, and you want to make sure it's intentional, but for now, I like seeing something a little bit more open, a little bit more dynamic. We can see there's a nice range and there's plenty of room to the top. There is an issue with that, which is it's gonna sound very quiet compared to commercial music. And we're not gonna do anything to limit the dynamic range of our song, but what we will do is at least make it to a point where our highest peak is going as close to the top as possible without distorting. And to do that, we're gonna use a process known as normalization, which does just that. It finds the loudest peak and it turns everything up. All we're doing here is like clicking the plus button on the radio, turning the dial to the right. We're not limiting the range in any way. We're just kind of turning it up in advance so that the listener doesn't have to do that. Now, if they're listening to Katy Perry and then listening to our song, they might still have to turn it up a little but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the whole waveform, go to effect and choose normalize. Since this is my experimental track, there actually is some DC offset and it's there intentionally. You can see how the wave kind of curls underneath this line here. So I'm actually going to uncheck that and I'm gonna check normalize stereo channels independently because there is a lot of information that's very different from the right channel to the left channel. You may actually want to have that enabled and not have this enabled, just depends on the sort of track you made. 
And now you see it says normalize maximum amplitude to minus 0.3 dB. That's a very good value. It means that if you were gonna put this into iTunes, you'd be safe. If you go louder than that, sometimes iTunes will reject your track. So I'll go ahead, click OK. Once it's finished processing, your track may look much louder. It may not look much louder at all. It depends on how loud you were going in. So the shape hasn't changed, but the overall volume has been brought up. There's just a couple more things we can consider doing to finalize this. One is cutting off the tail here. If you remember, inside of Soundation, I added that extra clip at the end just to make sure I got all of those lingering delays and reverbs. So now I'm just going to play back the track and check to see when we go to silence. And at that point, I know I can get rid of everything else. <laughs> Okay, right about here should be good. So now it's really easy to just eliminate the rest of that. I'm just gonna click, drag over, hit the delete key. Just make sure I'm out of pause. Stopped. Now I'm good to go. Uh, you just have to make sure you're in stop mode before you can actually make a move. So deleting there. That works fine. The other thing I might wanna do is add a little fade in at the beginning. We'll see if this works. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Go back to the beginning, take a quick listen. Make it sound as if taking over another body was the easy. Sounds like we're gonna definitely need a fade in. Make it sound as if taking Oh yeah, there's a little bit of a clipper that happened, which you wouldn't be able to fix if you were just gonna publish inside of Soundation. But the way I'm gonna fix this is just by adding probably a little bit of a fade in here, maybe over the first five seconds. And to do that, I'll go to effect, fade in. It's going to fade it in for us, and now we can go and listen. Make it sound as if taking over another body was the easiest thing in the world. Make it sound as if taking over another body was the easiest thing in the world. Make it sound as if taking over another body was the easiest thing in the world. You might want a longer fade in. For this track, we probably could do a slightly longer fade in. So I'll undo that processing and go to 10 seconds and fade it in. This might sound a little cooler. Make it sound as if taking over another body was the easiest thing in the world. Make it sound as if taking... That totally works for me. And now all we have to do is compress this out to an MP3. Now that everything is in working order, I'd recommend that you listen to your track once all the way through. If you're satisfied with the way everything sounds, it's time to bounce this out or to compress it down to an MP3 file format. To do that, you'll go here to File Export, and then you'll have the option of choosing what file type you want. We'll choose MP3, and then under Options, we can actually choose the quality of that. And I'd recommend with going with the highest, if at all possible, you know that you're not losing anything, but you're still gonna be able to keep that file size down pretty low, especially as compared to what our WAV file was. So I'll click OK. Let's call it something like Muzak Final. Save it to the desktop is fine. You'll need to install the lame encoder, but it takes about 20 seconds, so it shouldn't be a problem. Click OK, and here it goes as it exports. And now you should have your final track. You can review it one more time just to make sure everything is working sound as if taking over another body was the easiest thing in the world. And after you've reviewed it, you're ready to share it with us and with the rest of the world. Thanks a lot.